Welcome to Alpha Cars Annual of New England. Today we're taking a close look at the slightly used 2023 Euro Gear Up and Klein Blue. We recently acquired this bike uh, from its original owner and we actually built this bike when it was new. We accessorized it and we did the first service here at Ural of New England. And you may recognize this bike as we do have a couple previous videos on it as well. Definitely reference those. Uh, they detail the bike when it was new in our showroom all the way to the uh, time it was in for the first service. So definitely take a look at those. They'll be in the description. But if you are interested in this Klein Blue gear up, check out our listing on our website, alphacars.com. You'll, you'll see all the itemized accessories and really how much value they add uh, to the bike and the value you're getting in this lightly used Ural. Of course, you won't owe the things like the assembly costs uh, and the freight, so keep that in mind as well. We do offer transportation, so even if you're not local here in New England, give us a call, 978-263-9000, and we can have this Ural uh, delivered right to your driveway and make the buying process very easy. But now with that out of the way, let's take a close look at this exciting Klein Blue gear up. The purpose of this video is to highlight all of the installed accessories and just evaluate the condition of this bike. It is really like new. It only has 1400 miles on it. And of course it has all of those exciting accessories as well. And the sun just came out here. Uh, now it's becoming a sunny day in New England. The clouds are uh, moving out. So we can actually see how well this uh, paint finish looks and the Klein blue color really looks stunning on this bike. But now let's get into those accessories. Of course, we have the Nitron shocks. Big value added here. These shocks are amazing, all the adjustability and the uh, change they offer in the ride quality and the capability uh, of the bike on the rough terrain. So we've got all the Nitron shocks here. Every shock that's on the bike uh, was replaced with the Nitron kit. And we can see there they're all in great condition. This bike has the H4 LED headlight bulb in it. And let me turn on the ignition so we can see that crisp white light. And as we take a look at some of these other accessories, we can turn them on and see how they are working. Now let's take a look at this windscreen though. It's made by National Cycle. And we offer this on our e-store as well as all of the other accessories we're gonna take a look at today. So keep that in mind. Uh, you might be watching this video because you're interested in this bike, or you might be watching this video because you thought the accessories <laughs> uh, look cool on this bike and you want to learn more about them. Well, go to our e-store, EuralNE.com, and you can order any of these accessories and have them shipped uh, right to your door worldwide, by the way. So that's the windscreen. This bike also has the full LED bulb kit. So let me flick this switch. And this is actually another one of the accessories, which is the uh, hazard flasher kit, but I wanted to use that to show they all blink very brightly and very crisp. Let's check out the back of the bike now. You can see the running light on there and then the four-way flasher going. So that's really two accessories I just showed. We have the full LED bulb kit and then the four-way flasher kit, which that switch actuates those as you just saw. Now kind of staying on the handlebars, we have the dual cylinder temperature gauge kit. We've got the dual uh, needles here and they uh, will track our cylinder temperatures independent of each other. So we can keep an eye on those if we're in uh, maybe the summer heat or just want to know when things are warmed up. There's also the uh, handlebar USB charger here. You can see the batteries resting very nicely at 12.1 volts. It also has the voltmeter there, uh, USB quick charge, and we can turn it on and off. We have the Ural uh, handlebar accessory mount. So it re replaces the handlebar uh, clamp, I should have mentioned, and then it also has the accessory uh, mount for the RAM mount uh, X grip right here. Also, we have heated grips. We have the controller right here, five stage controller. These get very hot. I've actually used these exact heated grips on some personal bikes over the years, and I really like them. Right next to those grips, we have the Storm handguard. So these will keep a lot of the 
uh, cool air and the bugs off your knuckles, as well as uh, if you're off-road, this will help keep the uh, thorns and the brush off your hands as well. And of course, with this nice big windscreen, uh, that also does the sort of same thing, but with these hand guards, it extends out that remaining portion to give you uh, really the full protection. We've got the bullet parking brake right here, which will lock the front hydraulic circuit, acting as another parking brake, uh, in addition to the bike's standard parking brake right there. Moving down the bike a little bit, we have the shin guards here, which once again make riding very pleasurable, even in the cold weather, and it keeps the bugs and even if you're riding in the rainy weather, it does keep sort of the splash up and the uh, raindrops off the front of your legs, which if you're at highway speeds can definitely uh, be an experience, uh, even be painful depending on the gear you're riding. So it's nice to have that sort of full protection there. And going even lower, we do have the uh, engine skid plate on this bike as well. And if we peek up just above there, we've got this uh, oil filter sandwich plate because this goes to the external oil cooler that's mounted on the sidecar body. And this just, it adds uh, oil capacity and it's gonna really aid in keeping those oil temps cool, especially if you're working the bike at the lower speeds off-road or you're just in the summer heat and you wanna make sure to monitor the temperatures and keep the oil in the bike as clean as possible as adding the extra capacity uh, will definitely help you out there. Another very exciting accessory we have the hand shifter. So this is for the forward and reverse gears. So our upper shifter here actuates the four forward gears as you would normally use with your left foot. And then this lower uh, shifter here, this is for the reverse gear. Super fun to use and you can still shift uh, with your left foot if you need. There is still a heel toe shifter there, but we can see this really cool linkage that comes up uh, to actuate it. Uh, instead of our foot if we want to keep using the hand shifter. Now that I've covered all of the accessories on the bike itself, let's check out the sidecar. I do have the tonneau cover on it right now. We can see how well it matches everything. But now let me remove the tonneau cover and we'll get a full look at the sidecar. And now with that tonneau cover removed, let's take a close look at the sidecar. First, let me mention the sidecar a fender mounted LED driving light. This adds a lot of nice light to the sort of right side of the road, edges of the road. And uh, I'll just turn off the key now so we don't have the lights running after now I've showed you that. Let's start at the windscreen area. We have the short sidecar windscreen. It is tinted and we have the sidecar door. And this door, it's magnetic right here so you Pretty much just pull it away get in and put it back and it'll stick right to the sidecar and there is a pouch on the inside with a zipper for extra storage so that's super cool as well there's also the sidecar rear view mirror and as i mentioned earlier in this video if you are interested in any of these accessories uh, for your bike you can order them right on our e-store urlne.com and most of these are very, very popular, if not all of them, I should say are very, very popular. And you can view people's reviews. There's lots of reviews and you can get to know what people have to say about these accessories. Now back to the sidecar. The customer, when they ordered this bike and had us accessorize it for them, they wanted an extra fuel canister mounted on the other side of the sidecar. So this actually is a very unique, pretty much one of a kind bike having the dual fuel canisters on it and the shovel that's usually on the side of the sidecar body that is in the trunk it is included with the bike and i will show you that in just a couple minutes and more on the fuel canister being mounted to this side of the sidecar as far as i'm aware there's no factory option or factory bracket to do this so we did modify a factory bracket and and now it looks like it came there from the factory so if we look uh, this is the factory side. This is as it comes from the Ural factory. And then this is our modified one, which we did uh, remove some of the rivets and then add some new rivets to secure the mounting latch uh, in the place we needed it. So now that's looking great. And you would never know uh, we did that there custom. Taking a look now at the bottom of the sidecar tub, everything's looking awesome and we have the Ural NE sidecar rear bumper. 
Now let's open up the trunk of the sidecar. And we can take a look in here. There's even more goodies. There's that foldable shovel I had talked about. There's a factory toolkit and we have a bike cover. So that's all included with the bike just in there. And now quickly touching on the bike's condition. Of course, it really speaks for itself. I don't really have to say much. It is an excellent condition with, with really no you know, wear and tear on it because it only has 1,400 miles. Uh, but let me, I'll just put the sidecar uh, cover right there for now. Let's just flick on the key and we will just start it up so you can hear it run. But the bike starts right up, and as I mentioned, as you'll see in the other videos referenced in the description, this bike had the first service on time, and it's, it's really only been serviced uh, by our expert team here at Ural of New England. So that offers really a lot of peace of mind. We've seen this bike from the start, we're very familiar with it, and it is a local customer who initially uh, ordered it, had us build it, and then they just had a sort of lifestyle change so they decided to sell it back to us now with 1,400 miles on it. If you have any additional questions on this Ural gear up, give us a call 978-263-9000. We'll be happy to talk to you about it. As I mentioned throughout this whole video, we, we know this bike very well and we can answer any of your questions on it, but make sure to reference our listing on our website, alphacars.com, because that may answer most of your questions uh, anyways with how detailed that listing is and that will tell you things like the tire life, the brake life, and the uh, breakdown of all the exact accessories this bike has that I've been talking about. So this has been Ian reporting from our Boxborough location. Please leave a like on this video and subscribe so then you don't miss out on the latest Ural content.